Picasso is stretching and getting ready for his debut. Are you getting ready? Because we're about to tell a story about you and what you have been up to lately. Oh yeah, yeah. George? Hello, my fellow parrot lovers and sniffers. Do you guys know what sniffer is? Sniffer is someone who loves to sniff birds, which most of you probably are, or maybe you don't know anything about birds. Maybe you're not a sniffer. If not, welcome to the channel. Picasso and I are here to tell you a story time Sunday, although he's kind of shocked. He's not so sure what it's gonna be about, but I bet he has an inkling when I remind him he's gonna be very embarrassed. So we are about to out Picasso. Now, before I go on, I kind of feel like it's been a while since I sat here and did a story time Sunday with you. Last Sunday, I didn't get to put a story time Sunday out because so much was happening that it was just so difficult to live life properly and be healthy and put out a video at the same time. Because I was like, get to me, get to me. But I have been doing some videos of the day so you guys can see my birds and their antics. And if you guys are watching consistently, you know that I went to Texas this past week. So when I came back, I made a video of the birdies being really excited and seeing me afterwards, which I think is really cute. Jersey, Cody, and Vinny are dancing. Somebody left me a comment and said, can I please see Picasso scream? I want to know what he sounds like because he's always so quiet. Well, here he is. He's screaming. He's probably not going to be quiet throughout this video because it's a little bit past his bedtime. And Picasso is very, very specific about his bedtime. Picasso does not like to be out after his bedtime unless he's watching a movie with me and he is getting sniffed. I'm not kidding you. So if I sit here and maybe sniff him, he will be okay. No, see, he wants lip gloss. You cannot. Why do you always want lip gloss? Oh, he smells so good. So I'm not going to sniff him because you guys know what happens when I sniff him. I totally forget that I'm even making a video and then I have to cut out 10 minutes of me sniffing Picasso. Okay, okay. I'll try to stop. Anyway, before we go on, let's do the Engaged Not Caged Featured Bird of the Day and also of the Holidays. Now, Engage Not Caged is my Instagram account where I feature your birds that are engaged and not caged. If you would like to see your bird featured on the Instagram page or maybe on this channel, remember to hashtag Engage Not Caged, meaning that you believe in engaging with your birdie, letting him be free, letting him hang out, and not caging birds. So today, I have chosen... Dun, dun, dun. I really had to go for a festive one this week because it's the holidays. So out of all of your holiday engaged, not caged birds, the engaged, not caged bird of the day is Lolly of Horror. Seriously, guys, look at this macaw. How can we not choose this extremely festive family? Everything about this picture is amazing down to the sweater, the bird, the Christmas tree, the whole picture spells out holidays and I love it. So I think that this bird right here is a winner. The bird is also in festive colors, red, green, festive colored feathers. Perfect. I just love it. So go check this bird out. He's got a really, really cute life with his family, and I think you guys will really enjoy the profile because it's quirky and funny, and I've been really enjoying it too. So that is our Storytime Sunday Engage Not Cage Bird of the Day. Let's get on to what else is happening. First of all, Harry is in here. Second of all, you see this toy here? Okay, this toy. <sighs> Yeah, well, Harry has stolen that toy from Bella. Bella is a human baby 
that belongs to my best friend Tracy. You guys probably all know Bella anyway. Beautiful baby. And my mom wanted to get Bella's attention, so she wanted a squeaky toy for Bella. And I'm like, okay, well, if you want a squeaky toy, we just get like a dog toy. It doesn't matter. It's a stuffed pet. It doesn't matter what section it comes from in the store. So we get that for Bella and the moment Bella dropped it, it became my dog's. And obviously it's not going back to Bella, but Harry has been following it all over the place. Now, what about you, mister? What do you think you have done that is worse than Harry stealing Bella's toy? You look so innocent. You also look like you forgot, but I do not believe that you did. Guys, I don't even know if I should tell you the story because it's actually so traumatic to me that I don't think I can tell you the story. I think I just need to show you what happened. I'm sure you know this is not the first time this has happened. I'm very reluctant to show you guys this. Well, no, you guys should see. But... Let's see if the guilty party feels guilty. Does he look guilty? What do you mean no? Should be very guilty. This is what has happened. Can you see it? Do you see any keys on this keyboard? Some keys, I swear something just fell off. This is what my laptop looks like now. <laughs> I'm very upset about it. Cute little laptop case cover. I love books. Yes, I'm kind of book crazy. So Picasso did that. And I'm very, very upset about it. It's made everything hard. It's made everything hard. It's made it hard for me to edit any videos for you because um, obviously I can't use my laptop. Not only that, but at the same time that happened, my tripod broke because I took it to Bird Mart, which I'm sure you guys watched that video. Now I'm gonna tell you the story of how Picasso did this. Actually, I, the reason I'm really reluctant to tell the story is not because Picasso did this. It's not because I'm depressed about it, although I, the, you guys should never get depressed over material things. These things are not a big deal. It's fixable. Um, obviously, you should never get upset over material things, but I will admit, I feel kind of handicapped right now without my computer. Lucky I have my desktop, but that just means that I'm stuck upstairs inside a little room doing anything all day. What do you have to say for yourself? Anything? So this is what happened. This is why I'm so upset at this. It's not really Picasso I'm upset at, because he's just like the Shredder, as you guys know. So I'm not really mad at Shredder for doing this. Okay, yeah, I am. Look at him, he's all offended. He's, he's, he's mumbling in my ear. Mumble, mumble. Yeah. I'm mad at myself because I know better. I'm the type of person that, like I live in Los Angeles, there's earthquakes, this is me. Like, there hasn't been an earthquake. Okay, lies, we had an earthquake a few months ago. But before that, I don't think I felt anything in a few years. But I'm still the person that, like, moves the glasses off the table when they're full. And I won't leave the house with a glass anywhere or anything in case, like, of an earthquake. I put all my equipment back all the time in case of an earthquake. I'm that person. I know never to leave a laptop open around a bird. If you guys haven't learned that yet, you will. I know all of these things, that's why I'm so upset, but I just don't know where I lost my conscious thought. So here's what happened. I was downstairs having lunch with the birds. Lunch with the birds is very important because I wanna make sure that they're all full and they're all healthy and that they all have eaten something and also that they've eaten something really good for them and not just the pellets or seeds that are in their bowls. It's really important for me to be conscious that they are eating. So I always have my lunch with the birds and it's something that we can all share. Yes, Harry, why don't you just step down on my laptop too? And what are you looking for? Oh my God, guys, you don't even know what Harry is doing right now. This dog is so smart. 
along with this toy that my mom got for Bella, I know I'm going back here, my dad got a lamb from Ireland that he loves to get babies. It's like this lamb and like if you ever shop in a tourist store in Ireland, these lambs are everywhere and they're so cute. So he got it for Bella and he was really excited except my dog has fallen in love with that too. And I told Tracy, you can't just leave Bella's stuff all over because dog toys, kid toys, there's a lot of confusion here for my dog. But why he left is because he sees the lamb on top of the dresser. <laughs> like, he sees it high and he came down to see if he could, like, jump up there and get it. I don't even know. What do you have to say for yourself? Get back to you? Okay, we'll get back to you. You are naughty. You're the naughtiest little shredder in the world. So here's what happened. I ate with the birds, everything was fine, and then they were on their stands and Jersey gets all like food coma-ish, which I love because it means that she's like content and not gonna pluck, and then Picasso generally sits there with her. And I guess I brought down my computer to answer comments from you guys and left it open, and from there, I have no idea how I lost conscious thought, ended up upstairs, and I actually remember kind of zoning out upstairs and looking at my phone, which is not normal for me. And then I came back downstairs and the laptop was open. Jersey was where she shouldn't have been. The keys were all over the place. And I think I went into severe shock because they had damaged other things too. And I just, I just couldn't. And I just lost my emotions. Like I didn't yell at them. I just started crying. I, I didn't even know. I was just like, my laptop. Now, here's the funny thing. We have an IT company. So this fixing this kind of thing is like extremely easy. Huh. When I say we, again, I use the term loosely. George is gonna fix it. But if any of you know anything about Macs and opening them up, to replace this keyboard, there are like 80 tiny screws, like itsy bitsy screws. Like it takes forever, extreme precision, extreme carefulness, and so I know that by the time anyone has the time to fix my laptop, it's gonna be a little while. But what frightened me most that I got so upset about was not that the bird did that because I should know better. It's because I should know better. I am extremely cautious, so that wasn't what upset me. What upset me was the loss of consciousness. Because when I got downstairs, I hadn't even remembered bringing my laptop down. And if I ever brought my laptop down, which I did because I was the only one in the house, I don't know when or where I lost any kind of consciousness to think that I shouldn't close it or to just leave it open. Like, I know not to trust the birds. No one knows better than me not to trust these innocent little feather heads that look so beautiful and sweet and steal my heart and make me forget everything that they've done. I know not to trust them, but I just don't know where or what kind of stress I was under that I, I don't, I can't even put the piece together of me bringing that laptop downstairs at all and opening it. I definitely, I definitely would never have opened that laptop. And I think the bird did it. I think Jersey was the accomplice. I think she lifted it up and opened it. I know she could do that. And I think he went in there and just went deep in it. So I was really upset, mostly because I was worried about myself and why I wasn't like mentally present. It's just so weird. It was just the weirdest thing. So, I mean, this dog 
is crying to get this lamb and I can't give him the lamb and guys I kid you not before I made this video I'm like it'll be fun like Harry will be in here and what reminded me was Sandy was in here and so I brought Harry in and I'm like what could he possibly do in the video especially since Sandy's not here he, he can't find anything to do disturbing there's no way and then this lamb is here and he's just sitting here crying like a baby like how do animals always find something to do now if you want to know really what happened after they ate my laptop i went into some sort of shock now you guys got to know something about me i'm an extremely motivated doer type person i don't zone out very much and i don't like sit around on my phone at all in fact a lot of people think i'm not very uh communicative on like responding to texts and stuff because i just have like better things to do like make videos for you guys honestly i can't accomplish everything in the world at once so see i forgot what i was going to say so maybe i do zone out So I remember what I was going to say. I kind of like go, go, go during the day. <laughs> that doesn't mean I get out of this house. It just means like I don't stop doing stuff because I got to make videos for you guys. I got to take care of the birds. I got to keep the house clean. I got to do whatever else I'm trying to accomplish in the land of me making my dreams come true, like movies and music or whatever. So I got to figure out how to do all that per day. So not much affects me. But if I get any kind of shock or fear, it's like my body freezes up and I freak out. And the only thing I can do is go to sleep. Like I get like extremely stressed, upset, and then narcoleptic. Like, like can't face the world. Like just like, like some sort of weird narcolepsy. Okay. Like, like, oh my God, the day is over. I can't deal with it. And it doesn't happen to me often, but if I get any kind of extreme emotion, or if I get hurt, like let's say I, um, I don't know, went to the dentist or, and nothing big happens, but like, you know, it was just too much. And after that, I, I fall asleep, okay? Just like even if I get frightened, like my body stiffens up, something happens and I just like want to fall asleep. Even my muscles permanently for the rest of the day tense up so bad that I can't move. That's happened to me when I was on a bicycle I'm riding my bicycle, my little cruiser, so calmly down the street at night. I was leaving Tracy's house and George was with me and he's like a trickster, you know, like those skateboarder type people, whatever. He does all that kind of stuff and he jumps his bike right in front of me, not so close, but like enough to make me feel like I had to halt my bike. And so like, that was it. I had to get off the bike and walk it and I couldn't, my muscles couldn't even move. It's like, I can actually feel like some sort of adrenaline get released in my body and paralyze me. It's the weirdest thing. So something like that happened when he ate my keyboard because I was in shock of myself. I was like, where was I? Like, where was I? Like, how did I just zone out? Like, I don't even know. I think I just got shocked because I am the bird expert. Gus was like, yeah, you weren't ready for me. No, because like, I'm just like an expert at hiding stuff and keeping everything perfect. And if you guys remember the last time Picasso ate my keyboard, which was my desktop and also ate my memory cards. Somehow it was because my brother and mother and father and whoever, they all blamed each other, were negligent. And apparently Picasso figured out how to get upstairs, get into my bedroom, get into my editing room and get all that stuff. That right there is negligence. What happened to me, I don't know. I think I just zoned out. So I was basically, long story short, or not short, frightened by myself. And then I just panicked and then I was afraid to tell George what happened because he was going to be the one that fix it and it was before i did the booth and he said just focus on what you have to do and ignore this or make a video about it and my video would have looked like the crying cat lady i would be like <laughs> <laughs> 
like I almost turned on the camera and then I'm like, well, you can get a grip on yourself. It's just material stuff. You know that it can be fixed. It's like just, it's just also going to cause me so much difficulty in editing and everything now because I can't use my laptop. So and it just makes things um, a lot harder for me than they need to be. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, see, look at that. Oh, but he smells so good. It's so hard. So that's my story. My birds are naughty. You guys know that. Picasso is a shredder. He looks really innocent here on my shoulder. I know you guys love him. I love him. I'm crazy about him. But owning a bird is very, very interesting, let's just say. And a lot of you write into me and say, how do I prevent my bird from eating my laptop or my wires or anything? And I'm like, mm, you gotta hide them. You gotta move them. That's kind of what you gotta do. But if it's some permanent thing, then I have other tricks and other videos that I have given you guys. But that is the story. Let me know in the comments if you think Picasso is naughty or not. Because, you know, Santa doesn't come to naughty birds. What do you think? You don't care? Yeah. So that's my story, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my traumatic story. Life goes on. Don't get wrapped up in material things. It's all fixable. Right? This is life. Don't sweat the small stuff. Harry, don't sweat the idea that you cannot eat the lamb that belongs to Bella. He's pretty upset about that. <laughs> Now, before I go, there's some things that you should know. One, if you are a new bird owner or you are a longtime bird owner but want to see the products that I love for birds, check the link below. It's called Products I Love. I have so many exciting things in there for birds. Some of the things I have in there you've seen in my aviary for the birds, things that Picasso loves. So check those things out. Bookmark the link so every time you want to remember what they are. Everything from food to cleaning supplies to fun things to toys to everything you can think of for your birds is in there. Even vacuums because I'm a psycho and I like to make sure everything is clean and I can't live without my Roomba. So check it out. See what's in there. And Parrot Station is approaching 40,000 members. 40,000 members on Parrot Station, guys. That's the Facebook group for parrot lovers like yourself. If you're not on it, come join it. If you're not on Facebook, get on Facebook just for these birds. And if you often get depressed by everyone else's Facebook posts, you will love joining Parrot Station because your whole newsfeed will become just about birds, just like we like it. Right, Picasso? Yes. So that is another exciting thing. And even more exciting, my channel is approaching 50,000 subscribers. That's really exciting to me and the birds and Harry right now. So please, 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 if you're watching this, subscribe, like, comment, share, educate people on birds. I love it. Remember to spread the message about birds being engaged and not caged. And on that note, if you want to follow me on social media, it's at Marlene McCohen on Instagram and Twitter. And we also have at Engage Not Caged on Instagram. I look at Picasso like he's going to speak. I mean, I guess you have been speaking, but, you know, I thought you might want to leave your socials or something. You want to leave your socials? No? Okay. And if you have not gotten your sniffer shirt yet... There's still time to order it, then hopefully it will come to you before Christmas. So check out the link for Sniffer shirts below. We have Sniffers, we have Sniffers Anonymous, which kind of goes with our Sniffers movies, and we have Parrot Station shirts. So check them out. I still have some left. I don't know who's going to get them. I can't. I can't even focus with this bird. That is it, guys. I love you so much. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for being so much fun and so engaging. I love you all.